What's up, people? We're back playing more Prototype 2 with James Heller and Gaming Memoirs. And I came to the stunning conclusion today how hard it is to work full time and record. Really, the only time I get off is my Saturdays, but you know, we do the Saturday Night Versus. So I feel like putting up something in between Saturday Night Versus so it's not all Saturday Night Versus. So we're going to be playing some uh, prototype today. We're going to, you know, be mopping up the story missions. Apparently we're really close to being done, because when you get to the red zone, that's pretty much it. You're just kind of working towards that stunning conclusion where you're going to have to fight uh, Alex Mercer. So we're not even going to bother with the hive, because we won't get anything out of it. So we're going to go straight for this here, and we're just going to see what's up. Go walk into this story mission and see what happens. set up a secure perimeter. Yeah, I read an article on Cosmo. Dana, I have to ask you something. And I know it's out of left field, but listen, you have to stay safe. Because if I'm gone, I need you to take care of Maya. What? James, I would never know where to begin to... I don't even know... There's no one else. He... I've got no one else. Thank you. That's actually a very touching scene. It's very not prototype, too. Don't get me wrong. I'm not compl uh, complaining. Making James Heller human. All right. I'm on my way that's an art. Because apparently he's nothing but a grizzled swear bag. Okay. You thought about how you're going to ask him? No more asking. Rooks' number is up. All right. I'm sending you his coordinates. Well, let's get moving, guys. Get over, head over to Colonel Rooks, whatever his name is. And we're going to kill him, I assume. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Actually, we're going to eat him. Man, I wonder what it's like after you get eaten. Do you, like, keep living on in this person's body? What's the deal with that? Regardless. Yeah, it's kind of intra... It's nice to see uh, them trying to make Heller human. Especially regarding his daughter. I mean, like, that's really all he has to be human for. But he actually is responding like a normal person would trying to find a parent just in case, you know, he doesn't make it out of this alive. It occurs to me now that I'm actually going to go fight some soldiers in this level, and that bulletproof upgrade I bought a while back is going to be worth its weight in gold. Oh, what a way to go. He, like, touched them in the spine and they exploded. You're a family man, too. Jesus Christ, Riley! You should wear a fucking bell! Sorry. I've got an idea. Can you get a fix on a doctor, Trey Carson? Carson works for a special bioweapons division out of Quantico. Where are you going with this? If we can find Heller's daughter, that'd put his nuts in a vice, right? I heard somebody in Rattler 2 talking about a Dr. Carson. I think he's connected to Griffin. So what? Going to lean on Carson? You got any idea what these government spooks could do to you? How bad do you want Heller? I'll let you know what I turn up. Hey, it's me. Is Rook? Did you get what you needed? I got the intel. Yeah. Carson's at a black watch base not far from here. I'm going after him now. All right. Good luck. And be careful. Now, here's the thing. Why suddenly try to make Heather human? Like, this guy's a family man, yeah, but he's, you know, responsible for all the crap that's happened to you in the recent. 
like 10 maybe like 15 minutes ago before I started this video, Heller would have ripped his head clean off of his body. That doesn't make any sense that now he decides to be like a decent human being. It's just it's not in character for him. Well, whatever it is, let's just sneak up here and get what we have to get. Sometimes it's best not to ask questions in the world of prototype. I can't believe we're almost finished, my goodness. Dr. Carson, you ready to leave yet? Yes, I'm almost ready to go. Just gathering up the last of my things. Hmm. Shamrock, transport for Dr. Carson is inbound and on schedule. Wish. Over. I can get away without setting off an alert. Who do I have to eat? Who needs to be eaten? You need to be eaten. Oh man, no one's even watching you. You guys don't even try, do you? Oh, I thought I blew him up with a bio bomb. There it was a crap. An teams, identify the cause of the disturbance. Something's wrong. You guys should head that direction. It's bad stuff over there. I'm just gonna hang out over here, though. You guys can do what you need to do. You know, whatever. We have to we have to just normal soldier like you guys going towards the cause of the disturbance. Whatever. <laughs> that was a pretty crappy effect for a PS3. Oh, here, let me help you, bro. We're taking Amaya Heller to my lab, Agent Borden. Security here is too easily compromised. Understood. Location? Far away from the NYC, thank Christ. We'll be in two choppers. Her first, and I'll follow in a second. Any word from Washington on my recommendation? Your request for vivisection is approved. We won't know how valuable she is till we open her up. They're gonna kill that little girl. Sons of bitches. Sons of bitches! Dr. Carson, we're ready for your pickup, but we can't land until the uh, disturbance on the ground is dealt with. Over. Roger. <coughs> <laughs> I like his cough to like fix his voice. From whatever the fuck is going on out there. Uh, right. <laughs> no one questions. Anyone else hear his voice? It's weird that I can hop around like that without setting off an alarm. In fact, I think it's in like absolutely bananas. So many cutscenes, doing very little talking in this video, but that's okay. Oh, not this guy. Don't take any damage from the Goliath? Are you serious? What the hell do they propose they do that? Well, alright, we're doing this, I guess, the old school way. Uh, we'll take Hammer Fist and Claws, because I don't think I had a Hammer Fist last time I fight. Maybe I did, I don't remember. Doesn't really matter. We're going after the Goliath. So all we're going to do is we're going to jump in the air, find the Goliath, find the Goliath, find the Goliath. That looks about right. And do this to it. Well, there goes that challenge. Kill the Goliath with the helicopter can land. How do I know what I'm hitting? I never know how to kill these things. Oh, there's my ads. The Hammer Fizz seems to be pretty effective. Which is good, you gotta have something that does damage to these things, right? Ah! Jeez, they hit so hard though, and they're so ridiculous to fight. I'm not a fan of the Goliaths. I think they're kind of cool enemies, but ultimately they're too funny to fight for them to be... I don't know how to describe, like, I don't know. I'm trying to fight this thing, but I never know what I'm doing. Alright, you know what, we're doing it like this. Oh, hold on, he might be down. Did I get it? Did I get it? Yeah, it looks like I got it. Break arm. Okay, we're gonna critical mass this thing. Did we get it? Did we get it? Whoa, let's get this arm at the very least. I think I died. Nope. Hey guys, quick, get in my belly. Can I only imagine how difficult this thing would be? Whoa, Nelly! 
The shields did a hell of a lot there. Who else is around to be eaten? You, random zombie person. Come here, jelly bean. I must break you. Rocky IV. Okay, so let's go after the Goliath. Seriously, how did they expect me to kill this thing without taking any damage? I wonder if there's like a secret, special, smart way of doing this. I hit him so hard I broke my camera, if anyone caught that. Oh boy. Ugh, I hate this thing. Let's rip his face apart. The claws will forever be the most useful way of killing Goliaths. Let the record show that they still own after, you know, how far into prototype two. These things never get less any, like, less ridiculous. Good, let's eat him. That's me consuming it, ripping its head off. Kill the remaining infected. Do I have to? I already killed a lot of infected. Spike you. Consume! Yeah, I'd like to get prototype finished a little sooner than later. Just so I could probably, you know, I'd like to start, um, uh, I'd like to start, uh, well, whatever you guys vote for before the end of the summer, right? So when I go back to school full time, it'll be a bit easier for you guys to, I don't know, for me to put up videos, right? Right now I'm filling in for all these extra work shifts. It's just a real pain in the butt to record. That's why I'm actually doing this right now. I work in a few hours, but I figured I'd give you guys something to watch. Just, you know, in between these Saturday Night Versus videos, you might as well make some progress in the uh, prototype, right? Never know if the, Oh, there we go. Pilot, I'm ready for pickup. I need to get to Maya Heller's location as soon as possible. I'm aboard, Doc. I'll get you there. Very funny. It's time to let your daughter go, Heller. Alex Mercer has a plan for her, and it doesn't involve you. These guys are like the lamest villains ever. They're like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles of, like, genetic mutation. Their little punchlines, and they have their crappy little weapons. That it's like they never learned how to use their superpowers properly. They're hilarious. Like seriously, man, for real? Come on, hit me. It's like they never realized what they were doing. They were just giving a pair of claws to any like Joe Schmo, and they're like, "Hey, dude, look, now you can go cut people with your hands." So now you get like free reign to talk like a moron and get your head smashed and consumed. Come on, guys. Come on. Oh, dude, dude, you, you have a problem. Here, let me let me fix it for you. Slice. You too, man. These guys are jokes. You idiot. Heller's daughter must not be harmed. May I ask why? Sir, I'm interested in her genetic makeup, for one. For another, I want James Heller to see everything I do to her. First hand. Uh oh, SpaghettiOs. I never understood that military term, Oscar Mike. 
Oh wow, cutscenes all over the place. Riley, yeah, I'm here. Where are you? Right behind you, you son of a bitch! You must think I'm dumb as fuck! Disappearing all the fucking time, disobeying orders! Who got to you? Who got to me? Who are you working for? Duh. Oh, see, here's the thing, though. Like, a little while ago, Mercer would have ripped him a new one just for pointing a gun to him, regardless of if he had a family or not. Everyone here has a family. The only difference is Rooks just happened to be, like, the one who he mentioned it to. I don't know. It, it's just kind of an unrealistic, sudden change. It's the kind of thing I figured James Heller should have acted this way from the beginning of the game anyway, but... They just forgot that he was a family man, but at the end they're like, wow, now that Maya's alive, maybe he's gonna suddenly change his tune or something? Uh, I don't know. I might be, like, grasping at straws here, but it just seems like a very unrealistic plot to, you know, character development, right? Yeah, baby, yeah. Let's get a really cool whip fist on, maybe I'll spiky. What time we had? 16 minutes and 52 seconds, huh? Should I go for one more? Should we just go for the end of Prototype? Better question. I mean, I still have a few hours. We could shoot for it. And make it an entertaining day, to say the least. I think we're going to do it. Oh, it's hard to say, because we don't know how long Prototype is. But, you know what? We're going to go for the next mission. We're going to start it up. And you can join me in the next part of Prototype 2, at the very least, right? Mm -hmm. And keep voting for the next game, because right now we're like at, like... It's a darn near 50-50 split between Bioshock uh, 1 and um, Star Fox Adventures. I've got like a one vote difference or so, I don't know, I haven't really tallied tallied, but yeah, we're really, really close, so... Let me know, guys, I'd love to hear the feedback. Stop shooting at me. Does that count? No? Whatever. I don't care. I'll just sneak off anyway, like I always do. Maybe I'll use my machine gun super legs to get me away. There we go. Back to the objective. I kind of like the red zone. I like how hectic it is. I love the zombies running around. It reminds me of the infected zones from Prototype 1. Those were really cool. Whoop. Strike team evaded. Galloway, talk to me. God, you're so rude. No gratitude at all? Save it. All right. Your little display with Cantrell has prompted a mandatory meeting for all of the commanders. Top level security. Fucking pokes. They have a fit of one of them chipped a fingernail. I've located one of their transport pilots. Guy named Lincoln. He's your in. All right. I need more. More? Yeah, screw you. Okay. See, that's a great example of what I'm talking about, though, with, like, old Heller. You catch all that? Every word. And as much as I'd like to punch her square in the mouth, it sounds like you better follow that lead. If you can assist the other transport to the meeting, then we'll be able to find out what they're up to. Yeah, again, I, as much as I don't, uh, pardon me, I like the new Heller. It's so, like, I mean, that little bit there with the whole, like, you know, oh, I need more, and all this nonsense, right? I, I'm, I'm just saying. Like, I'm just saying. Very out of character. Let's go eat this guy and get a power-up. You're gonna tell me you're being watched. Who's watching you? If I didn't have an objective right here, I'd just eat you. Wait. Sweet. Free power ups. Armor skill. Ballista 2 2, this is Red Crown. How copy? Red Crown. Oscar 6 Echo, please report to Lima Zulu 1 Niner Juliet to escort Commander Ellis. I certainly didn't walk up the side of that building. Roger that. Alright, actually, we're going to stop before we get in this helicopter, and we'll start the next part of Let's Play Prototype Part 2. 
Join us next time where we try to get to the end of Prototype. I'm understanding that we have only a few more uh, story missions left, so join us and we'll try to beat the hell out of Alex Mercer. Thanks for watching.